Hey everybody, Gary with Base Camp Trading. Let's take a look at the ES today. Yesterday, big giant sell-off. I mean, the ES just tanked. And then it came down here in the overnight and found support. We had a reversal doji triggered to the upside. And this was a strong bullish bar triggering it to the upside. Little bottoming tail. Then the entire body of the bar was all buying. Closed above significant resistance. The 200 EMA we know is significant support and resistance. Closed above the 8 EMA. So a very strong bullish bar triggering the reversal doji. And then followed by yet another really strong bullish bar. Came down here, tested the 8 EMA. Entire body of this bar was also all buying, ultimately closed above the 50. Now, the closing bar was actually pretty ugly. This bar opened at the top, closed all the way down here, did stay above the 8 EMA. But this was an ugly bar at the end of the day. But the first half of the day, the bullish side was the side to be on and had some nice setups on the bullish side the first half of the day. And you can see how it started. This is our 30 minute chart. And you can see the ES, we had significant support between basically 37.02 and a half and uh, 3707 so that was the significant support zone right here and this was our overnight low that overnight low ended up being 3703 and a half but again we had significant support between 3702 and a half and 3707 we made a pretty good bounce off of that and then during the london session just kind of drifted its way lower tested that support zone again that low of that bar ended up being 37.06 and a half. And again, our support zone was 02 and a half to 07. So significant support in this zone right here. Bounced off of it, pulled back, tested it, bounced off of it again. And then the ES continued to work its way higher. And you can see throughout uh, the entire morning, the ES worked its way higher. Got extended. I mean, we had four bars in a row in the ES. So we were very extended at this point. We had hit, we'd even gotten extended on the 240s. You can see this bar right here. We'd hit significantly overvalued on this bar as well. So the ES and this bar closed at one o'clock. This bar closed at one o'clock central time. I'm central time. So that closed at one o'clock central, two o'clock Eastern. So again, the entire morning was bullish. We got extended, hit significantly overvalued, not interested in the long side anymore at that point. Typically, one of three things happen when we hit significantly overvalued on the 240s. We pull back, we consolidate, or we reverse. This particular case, we actually reversed. I mean, that, this was a very bearish bar back the other way. But you can see we were already extended on, or we hadn't actually hit extended on the 240s quite yet, but uh, we ended up with four bars in a row on a 30 minute bar chart extended. We got it, we did finally get extended on the 240s. Again, at that point, wasn't really interested in trading long. Actually pushed a little higher. The target that I had was um, 38.15. We actually hit that. And then we actually pushed a little above that. But again, we were extended at that point. I really wasn't interested in anything long beyond that point. And then you could see we actually ended up reversing and pulling back the other way. Broke through the 200 and then pulled all the way back to the 50 EMA. Finally found some support right here at the 50 EMA. Back inside our 30 minute opening range. This was our 30 minute opening range. This was our opening bar right here. This was our 30 minute opening range, but we had a nice bull flag trigger right here. And this is what got us started on the bullish side. Now this was pre-market. This was uh, 30 minutes after uh, Thomas Wood had taken over the room. Uh, Thomas Wood runs our uh, trading room in the morning. And this was about a half hour after he came into the room. We set up this bull flag. 
not the greatest setup bar in the world, but not bad. We left this bottoming tail right here. Now the body of this bar was still selling because this bar opened right here, pushed down, left the bottoming tail, which means the buyer stepped in and did buy this back up. Now they didn't close it to the upside, but still not a bad setup bar. And the next bar was the textbook trigger bar. This is what you want to see when you're triggering a bull or bear flag. You want to see this bottoming tail, and then the entire body of the bar was all buying and we closed above a significant resistance line. And again, on flags for a bull flag, that's what you want to see is a strong bullish bar that triggers you in. Bear flag, you want to see a strong bearish bar that triggers you in. This was a strong bullish bar that triggered you in. So that got things started we came up here this was where the u.s session opened and of course you know the in the open you're going to get a little whippy action but then price continued to push higher set up another bull flag which actually triggered left a topping tail right here but we were extended at this point so not a real surprise did go up in here hit our target and then again really wasn't interested in anything long the rest of the afternoon because at that point we were extended on the 30 minute chart and the 240 minute chart got this big pullback and you see this is just a really strong pullback and a very bearish uh finish here at the end of the day in fact we're in the after session now and still dropping so that's actually bearish for the es had a, a bullish morning and then uh, this is a really bearish afternoon now in the ES. So we'll see what tomorrow ultimately brings. But here's our Renko chart. And this is what gave us some decent setups. We were able to trade off of the Renko chart today. And again, everything was bullish. This 30 minute chart was all bullish. We had this bull flag. We had bullish momentum. And most people don't look at this, but you want to pay attention to your momentum trend. See what the momentum trend was actually doing? We were actually making a higher low and a higher high as we were triggering this bull flag. See, this was your previous high, higher low, and then we broke above this high. So you are already in an uptrend on momentum. Your momentum trend was already bullish. And then when we triggered this bull flag, we also triggered this bullish inflection to go with a strong bullish trigger bar. So everything about this was really positive. Our momentum trend had already changed to bullish. We had the bullish inflection, a good setup bar above the averages, a bullish trigger bar. So everything telling you that the long side is a good side to be on. And again, on our Renko chart, right here is where we were triggering that initial bull flag and nice strong push to the upside. Momentum was starting to get extended. We were above the 50 line, Trender Pro 2.0 painting extended bars. So telling us first reversal bar, usually not a bad place to go ahead and get out. Cause, and that was a nice strong push. This is a four tick trend uh, chart. So, you know, we triggered in, we actually triggered that bull flag right there on that bar. And that was the high of that bar was 42 and a quarter. The low of that bar where the reversal was, was 69. So that move up right there was 27 full ES points. So you definitely, and depending on how you traded this, you had the potential to make probably anywhere between a thousand to potentially even $2,000 on that because the high of that bar was 74. Again, you triggered in at 62 and um, the high of that bar was 74. So I'm sorry, you triggered in at 42, and the high of that bar was 74. So that's 30 ES points. So potential to make at least 1,000 to 1,500, not 2,000, but 1,000 to 1,500. Apologize, can't do the math here. But um, at this point, we were extended. We got pulled back. We had a pullback. Could have taken this wick off the 34. Could have grabbed you another couple hundred dollars. Had another pullback. 
fast line zero touch probably a better setup here with our fast line zero touch because now we had a nice momentum reset momentum had pushed higher you actually had some divergence right here because you had a higher high and a lower high on momentum and we pulled back made a momentum reset fast line right at the zero line giving us room for momentum to accelerate the trade in this direction our 240 minute chart was bullish at this time 30 minute chart was bullish at this time fast line zero touch could have ran that up for another potential $400 per contract again just depending on how you're trading it we were getting extended we we're extended on 30 minute chart we did some consolidating right in here triggered another bull flag on the 30 minute chart may or may not have traded this resistance break depends on uh, how aggressive you are had a trend pro 2.0 setup here on uh, wick off 34 would have been good for another target again we were extended again on 30 minute chart we pulled back kind of chopped around to and worked our way higher had another pullback set up a 30 minute bull flag right here triggered we had a slow line zero touch and just took that up into target it wasn't a big trade but our target was just overhead there so we're looking for that so, and you may not have traded any of this and definitely by time i hit target up here again my target was 38.15 and then by the time i hit target i for sure wasn't interested in any of these longs a couple setups could have made a couple bucks off of but uh we were very extended you're already extended on the 240 minute chart and the 30 minute chart at this point so so it again this morning very very bullish very bearish in the afternoon as you can see finished very bearish but some nice uh, triggers off of our 30 minute chart to the upside